Free mangoes. Early bird gets the mangoes. What was wrong with that one? It was busted open. Oh man, that looks juicy. Oh man. And the problem is a lot of these bust when they hit the ground. When you find some that aren't, oh man. Oh man, both of those are busted. If only a little. I think we can wash it because you see, I keep eating these off the street and not sharing with Greg. <laughs> That's true. They're so good. <laughs> Wow. I have never seen the waves like Let's this. Let's go out to the pier. Those waves are insane. We're gonna date our video here because I don't know when we're publishing this. This is yeah. Hurricane Enrique is just off the coast. Yeah. So we came down to Playa Los Muertos to check out the uh, check out the waves and What's uh, smarter than coming to the coastline when the hurricane is the closest it's gonna be? Yeah, we're not that smart. We're not that smart. What? What is that guy doing? That's Enrique himself. Yeah. Oh, golly. For the people that have maybe never seen Playa Los Muertos, does it normally look like this? No, that's what I was telling Greg off camera, like, to some of you, this may look like A just beach. big waves, but... I already didn't really get waves. I'm like. no oceanist. <laughs> Oceanologist. But like the white uh, foamy foam. area is huge. Yeah. And the waves are crashing. The waves normally here crash right on shore. Big or small, they yeah. crash like right at the shoreline. Right. But now they're pretty far out there. They're crashing really far out. Wild. It looks super turbulent. Greg said like you can see the waves being pulled back out. I don't know if that's undertow. I don't know if it's called something different because it's a storm. Overtow, side tow. This is exciting stuff. If there's one thing you should know about La Bonita, she loves weather. She like loves tracking weather, listening to weather, watching weather, talking about weather. Definitely comes from her parents. Yeah, it's true. It's true. Thanks, Dad. I used to never understand about Mexico was the first time we went to Mexico City we saw or really the first time we went to the airport to Mexico City we saw people walking around with big huge boxes yeah. of pan dulce from Ideal yep. maybe Madrid or actually Krispy Kreme <laughs> yes we didn't even know what it was and for a while we didn't know what it was it was like pizza boxes like the yeah. size of pizza boxes but that we finally yes. figured out that it was mainly ideal I yeah main, mainly mainly i was like wow i guess they that just i don't know this always seemed weird to me yeah but then our friend went to guadalajara our crossfit coach ironically uh, yeah <laughs> and he brought back croissants alfredo we told him that these are some of our favorite uh pieces of pan dulce in the whole republica oh. and he brought us back some croissants now i understand it because there's oh. nothing wait oh man look at that chocolate oh my gosh Can, are you gonna eat the whole thing you you're like you always pick around at your food but then when it comes not when it comes dulce, time to bread <laughs> yes it comes to bread <laughs> <laughs> not when it's bird. time for breading Panayar. Yeah. <laughs> now I feel like I finally understand Yes. the joy that is receiving pan dulce from your favorite, or one of your favorite pan dulce yeah. is. You're right. You're right. It all makes sense now. What's the verdict? What did I do right in my life to deserve <laughs> such a beautiful, amazing husband? Beautiful thing. <laughs> Greg's acting all big and bad when I took my first bite. Rookie mistake. I split it open because I wanted to get like just right into it. Rookie mistake. I don't know. I think it came from. Came from out both ends. There, but. Greg acted like I was too dramatic. What do you say? Yeah, so let's just not. Turn the camera off so I can lick my fingers. 
<laughs> okay, it's off. <laughs> okay, I stopped it. <laughs> <laughs> thing about the buses in Vallarta. Getting off? <laughs> oh, that's a bit dead bird. Um, Is that some of them have air? Mm, no. There's like one. Yeah. Is that you get steps on your Fitbit. Oh yeah! It's so bumpy you're right, you're with right. the cobblestone. I got a thousand steps in that trip. Oh. <laughs> that's a pretty good part. <laughs> Uh, they'll be good next year. <laughs> pesos what do we get we're gonna make dinner for friends I feel like we got like vitamins you know how expensive crescent rolls are in Mexico like 80 pesos for this. what does that cost in the States I don't know I haven't been there in a long time but I guess less than four dollars babe that's the outside of the store yeah that's crazy. right that has to be something I will say, and I feel like this makes you happy. That was by far the fastest trip to La Comune we have ever. I feel like you were running through the store. <laughs> I knew you were with me. Usually he brings a book and sits in a little cafe, but I knew I knew I had a shopping shadow. I, so. I could feel it. You were like, oh, I couldn't keep up. Well, it's 6.30, so I feel like we're about to start withering. Yeah, this is, this is an hour till bedtime, so we're running on fumes. like inspired to get out in it on a piece of wood or plastic I've never felt more wimpy in my life yeah I am definitely not too macho to, to say that that's have, terrifying that is terrifying and I have no desire to do that really whatsoever I mean the idea of surfing sounds okay but Siempre con todo. Except, uh, when there's big waves. except when there's big waves <laughs> or if it means cueritos sin olas y sin cueritos Siempre. All right, amigos, we started here. We're finishing here. Hopefully, uh, hopefully it's sunner, sunnier, more sunny. Sunner. Hopefully, hopefully it's, it's sunner. sunner tomorrow. Hopefully it's sunner next time we see you. NBC News meteorologist. Guarita, give us your final report on Hurricane Enrique in Vallarta. Hurricane Enrique did not reach. Was the nose part? You're on. You're live on air. No, I'm about to sneeze. <laughs> Excuse me. This is unedited. <laughs> Enrique did not wreak havoc in Vallarta anyways. I did point out to Greg, the sea spray, it looks like really hazy everywhere. And I think that's because the waves are so, look at that dog. <laughs> You're an interesting weather reporter. I think that's because the waves are so big that it's like the sea spray mist. It feels great outside, but I do, like, if I do this, it tastes like salty ocean air. We have an audience now. <laughs> live. 
There are some giant like tumbleweed looking things that have washed up. Never seen that before. We have seen big logs, but these are more like tumbleweed. It's like earth. Yeah. Yeah, that's pieces of Hawaii actually. And over here we have some surfers. I, I don't know this for sure, but I feel like this formation of clouds is the has something to do with the edge of the storm as it's moving north along the coast towards the Cabo, La Paz, Baja. Please don't hit Baja. And uh, well, other than that, clear skies, bright and sunny, a great beach day all around. <laughs> I feel like Weather you... on the fives. <laughs> you know how they do that? Weather on the eights. I've never seen them do that. Well, not that part, but like... What? I'm Hillary Kinnon, NBC5. Reporting live from Puerto Vallarta, Mexico. Hillary Kinnon. <laughs>